So next stop here at the International Builder Show is Dave with Little Giant. I'm a, I'm a very big Little Giant fan, right? So I've got a lot of Little Giant ladders and I got a lot of stuff that I use. And uh, Dave just opened my eyes to all kinds of awesome products here. So Dave, take it away. I want to hear what you have so, to say. So this is new uh, here at the IBS show. Looks like a six foot A frame, is a six foot A frame, but we did some things different to it. Of course, we've got the add on clips for your tape, uh, your tool holders on the side, but here at the back of the ladder, we put this workbench. So instead of working down on the ground or working on a tailgate of a truck, we now have a work tray right on the back of my six foot A frame. But I've got this thing loaded up. How am I going to drag it? How am I going to move it? Well, the ladder's on wheels. So you're just going to slide it from place to place. Those wheels are spring-loaded, so when I step down, you can see that they drop down to the ground. Safe to climb, easy to move. So now I've got my tools all loaded up, and I'm just moving it from place to place, getting that job done quicker and safer. It already has me sold. So what do you uh, think? You <laughs> like it? Yeah, this thing's cool. How much does this, uh, do, what does this come with uh, when we're talking about basically buying it? So at right, a basic level, what does it come with and how much is it? So right now it comes in a six foot, uh, 375 pound rated, comes with this as an, uh, an added accessory right okay. now. This later on will be an add-on, but currently this is free on the ladder with the uh, pop-up wheels and that's going to be around 200 two and a quarter okay so competitively priced 375 pound rated fiberglass so it's non-conductive it's got a lot of cool uh, additions up here on the top cap for paint and paint trays um, but really a mobile workstation right on your ladder so get that job done faster safer awesome so you were talking about this other ladder over here, this uh, it, the King Combo, right? Yes, yeah, so. so I've always thought about buying one of these, but it, and I'm like, uh, I just never do. So the thing about the King Combo is, how many times have you taken an A-frame ladder, closed it, and leaned it against the wall? <laughs> A lot. I mean, <laughs> everybody does it, right? The rule for OSHA isn't don't lean an A-frame. The rule is use your ladder for its intended purpose. So we designed this for the intended purpose of being lean. The back legs lock into place. That top cap has that pad yeah. that's gonna go against the wall. Now, if the wall's not flat, I'm gonna rotate that around. Now, that's gonna go into corners, onto a pole, even onto a stud, yeah. and really lock the top of that ladder in place. The back legs are under 16 inches, so if I'm working in new construction, I can go between the studs. And then if I need to go higher, that's just gonna rotate around. Now my six foot A-frame becomes a 10 foot extension ladder. Now I can stand up here. I've got this big standing surface. And then you'll notice here at the bottom or at the top, I've got, an, again, a V-bar stud centering, but it also has a tool tray up at the top of my ladder. Very so I'm going cool. to keep my tools up at the top. Cool. And how much does a King Combo go for? King Combos are like $179. You can get right. these at Lowe's or any industrial supply place. That's a lot of bang for the buck. Yeah. I don't know why I haven't bought one yet. I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm kind of a laggard. Hey, one last little giant feature. 20% of accidents on ladders happen because people step off early. Yeah. They yeah. come down hot. They step off early. That bottom step. Ah. It's an indicator. So when you use a King Combo, that conditions you to know that the bottom step sounds and feels, vibrates, sounds. So you, you know you're not at the bottom of your ladder until you get to the bottom of the That's ladder. That's awesome. So uh, you want to keep people safe. I actually just had an accident like that oh. last week where I stepped off the ladder early. And uh, well, that happens. Ground yeah. two. Ground <laughs> two. Everybody does it. All right, I love it. All right. And I also love this little, this one here. While we're here, <laughs> this thing's going in my van because this thing is cool. So I saw you, you folded it up. I mean, yep. it is it is so compact and so small. Yep. When you have it out, 
and then you have the arms up, you would think that, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> when so, you have the arms up, it looks like it's a huge honking ladder. Well, but. The, the plus of this is you can see that it has the run of a staircase. So instead of the steps being on top of each other, they're set as stairs. So now I can walk up and down this, yeah. work comfortably against that, turn around and walk back down. Um, everybody needs one around the house, in the kitchen. But me personally, I leave that down. I put that up against the tailgate of my truck. Now I'm loading in, loading out without jumping in and out of the back of my pickup truck. So it's just gonna save my knees, uh, yeah. my ankles. Just use this as a portable staircase. Yeah, that's a good case in point. Um, I just bought a new Transit work van. Yeah. And the step is too high and I'm right. looking at putting a step on it. And for this, I could fold it out. We you can go use up this and down on jobs day. and use it to get in and out of the van. Yeah. Yeah. All so. right, cool. All right. Well, Dave, I appreciate, hey. I appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest and of the builder show. Love the little giant. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely.